Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tatum Gwynn. The reality of the immense tragedy of Tuesday night's college van crash is starting to set in. Seven people from the University of the Southwest died in that crash, each of them special in their own right. We continue to learn more about each of them, and we are honoring them here tonight. Francisco Soto spoke with friends and family. Francisco. Yeah, Tatum, so many people have been touched by this tragedy in some way, whether you knew them or not. The community continues to mourn. Our institution is crushed and broken, but strong. They're not only students and coaches. They are loved ones to us. They are members of our family here uh, on campus. And I can't, you're gonna hear that word over and over and over again. It's the Mustang family. We truly are a family. And as the community comes together to grieve, loved ones reflect on cherished memories. She was really fun to get to know. She was the funniest girl. You probably like, oh, be around. Like anytime I was sad, she was like, no, you're not gonna be sad today. She, I mean, honestly, if I'm being honest, she's the reason as to why I passed my college classes in high school, because I had a hard time in one of them, and she was really helpful in most of them. She tried so hard to help me. I mean, she was just, she was that type of person, like, if you needed help, she was going to help you. She was going to find a way to help you. A high school friend of Carissa Rains remembers her for her love of golfing, God, and helping others. She was always a helping hand. She was always a team member. Like, you need a ride, we'll do this. If you need help, like, I'm there. She, like, she basically put herself aside to help others in high school. That's how I saw her. Like, she was like, regardless of what she was going through, she was going to help. She was going to put herself aside and she was going to help people that needed it. The message tonight. Try and keep us touch as much as you can, regardless if it's not in person and always tell them you love them. Tomorrow's never promised. And we will continue to keep you updated on these victims. We are currently trying to find photos of the two victims that died in the truck, the 30-year-old Heinrich Simons from Seminole and his son who was only 13 years old. Tatum. 